What's up guys, my name is Matt and I'm incredibly sleep deprived. But you see this screen here, that means Bungie has released patch 1.1.2. And with that, there came a lot of changes. So let's take a look at them. <laughs> Alright, let's actually get into these changes. There's a lot of them, and I'm not going to cover every single change, but I want to cover the majority of them. So the first one I want to cover is the fact that the vault space is now ginormous. That's right, we now have 24 slots in the armor, 36 in the weapons, and 24 in general. It's a lot of vault spaces, a lot of vaults. One of the more minor changes, but I guess is considered a spotlight, is this industrious purple ball. I don't know why I use the word industrious, that doesn't make any sense. But the old purple ball, the one we used to kick around for like 10 seconds, is now different. How is it different, may you ask? Well, they changed it into more of a sphere with a weird cloudy glowiness in the middle, and if you kick it, depending on its size and speed, it gets bigger or smaller. It's very strange. It's very strange, but it is a feature, and they did add it. So there's that. That got added. Thanks, Bungie. That was pointless, but hey, thank you. We got a new glowy ball in the tower. I like it. There's also now a lot of new settings. The first one that we'll talk about is the helmet. Can you wear your helmets in the social space? Sure, why not? Can you take your helmet off in the social space? Sure, why not? It's really up to you. So there's that. No helmet, helmet thing. That's a thing now. The next thing is this glorious, glorious menu right here. This menu right here is amazing. We now have, of course, we have the normal, like, five options, but we now have volume sliders. And we can also mute and unmute the music. So that is a good thing to have as well. Good call, Bungie. We knew this was coming. But it's there now, and it's good to see it in the game. Now the next thing is under the accessibility tab, this is where the colorblind mode comes in. Now I've tinkered between and I'm kind of, I should be using this one, but I like, I don't know, I don't like the purple to purple for some reason, it's very hard to see, so I'm going to go with the protonopia. It's very easy to see for me, shouldn't be much of a problem, and as you can see it's very strange to see it that way. But uh, I'm going to be using this so if the game looks different on my videos from now on. That is why I am using the colorblind mode. And if you didn't know this was going to be in the game, it is now here. And it's an option for you, depending on which one you want to use. And you could use these if you, even if you're not colorblind. They might look cool, but uh, you don't really need to use it. But the option is there. And that's the one I'm going to be using from here on out. So again, if anything strange in my videos, that's why. But in 1.1.2, we now have colorblind mode. The next change may or may not have plagued you at all. But I have noticed it occasionally. If you're dead, and while you're dead, you switch weapons, you used to lose ammo. That's no longer a thing. You keep your ammo, ammo retains. So that's a good thing. Good fix. But when it came to synths, a lot of times they still would not reliably work. Now, they work just fine. You may not have noticed that, or seen anything different, and you're like, that's normal. Well, yeah, probably. But also, that was a problem, that occasionally it wouldn't work properly. I had the issue when I was dead, where it wouldn't work if you were dead or orbiting in. Well, guess what? Now it works. So that's another good change. Lots of little minor bug fitches, but that's good. Now you're probably looking at this screen and see, not seeing any issues whatsoever. That's because the bug is no longer there. Before, it used to say 22, 26, 28. It is now properly displaying 30 on the Black Garden. Again, so many little minor changes. Minor changes, but they're there. It's good that Bungie knew about these, because I didn't even know about that bug. Now, we all know the strike, and we all probably quit out of it if we have the option. Well, now, Vos to Arek, the bullet sponge that he was, is no longer the bullet sponge. His strength has been reduced by 33%. They've also reduced the number of major combatants in the Vos to Arek fight, making it a much easier fight. As well, Dust Palace, wherever that is on the map, has the same changes, reduced the number of major combatants in the uh, Scion Flare fight and lowered the strength of Scion Flare's shield. So in the Dust Palace, same changes happened. They got weaker. Less people are going to be skipping it. At least that was Bungie's intention. Do you not see anything about this map? Well, that's because Bungie actually fixed it. You don't see anything strange about it. That's because there's no more exclamation point on Venus. They now fixed the bug that no matter how hard you tried to remove the icon that said the activity was there for the Vault of Glass... It wouldn't go away. Well, now Bungie fixed that, and that is now away. There was a couple other minor changes to the Vault of Glass, and I shouldn't say minor, they were major changes, but they were bug fixes nonetheless. They fixed a bug where splash damage could penetrate the bubble. The shield relic melee attacks now land on minotaurs more consistently because I've seen people miss with them. 
and they've also improved issues associated with walking through the portals. So the Vault of Glass had major bug fixes. Now, Crota's End actually had some bug fixes as well. Crota will now wait until fully standing before a sword attack. So no longer will he be kneeling on your screen and be standing up, starting, or at least standing to start up and instantly swatch you with his sword. That'll no longer be a problem. That should be fixed now. Also, they fixed a bug where the sword immediately despawned after killing the sword bearer, and the sword will now last a full 30 seconds after being picked up. And the last thing I'm going to discuss is PvP. Now, PvP had a lot of changes, and I mean a ton. An absolute ton, and me going through every single one would make this video very, very, very long. So, of course, like always, anytime there's a patch, the patch notes are in the description. Just note there were a lot of changes to PvP. The way maps rotate as well as some other main bug fixes prevented players from receiving points from neutralizing control zone. They changed a bunch of times on things. They changed map rotation. There's a whole bunch of things, giant list of things. I'm not going to cover it all, but just note there's a lot of changes to PvP. Now, there's also a ton of undocumented changes, and I will be covering those in a separate video because they are not really things that I can show off, more or less things I can talk about. A lot of undocumented changes, and I'll cover those in another video probably tomorrow. I do want to apologize for the lateness of this video. I was very busy today, a lot of work, a lot of sleep deprivation. Didn't get much sleep last night, and I had a lot of work today. About 11 hours worth of work. I do apologize for the latest video, but those are most of the changes for patch 1.1.2, at least the ones that I thought were important enough to throw into the video, the biggest things. If you like this sort of thing and you're new here, be sure to subscribe, leave a like in the comment section, talk about the new patch, let me know what you guys think about it. You guys hyped for House of Wolves? I, without a doubt, am ready for a new DLC in Destiny. But as always, my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.